Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, today is a uh, live format, but I'm not live. So if you're wondering where the chat is, uh, you can't chat because it, this is not a live uh, broadcast. Uh, I'm not live because I'm actually away with my family. And where are we? I'll give you a hint based on something that Phil Griffiths made for, uh, for me from a great over in the UK, Great Britain, Phil Griffiths made this, and this will tell you, this will give you a hint where, where I'm at right now with my family. Thank you for that, Phil. That was awesome, and... Uh, <laughs> Of course, that is the Cichlids and Coffee logo being washed over by some ocean water. Very nice. And uh, today I want to talk with you a little bit about um, large fish, like the fish I would recommend if you're going to be stocking an aquarium like this one, 150 gallon, 125 or larger. Uh, these are not fish that I would recommend for a small tank uh, and certainly not uh, for, you know, like a starter, you know, 40 gallon, something like that, I would suggest. Uh, if you do put them into a smaller tank when they're juvies, certainly have tanks available that you can graduate them up to, which is what I've been I've been doing over time. So um, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, before I do, if you're new to the channel and you like to always be learning about fish and fish care, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell, and that way you'll get notifications and um, and you'll know when I'm going live, like I hope to do next Saturday at 10 a.m for the cichlids and coffee live stream. So um, the first uh, fish I want to talk with you about that I highly recommend for a, um, for a tank uh, of one, you know, 150 or larger is of course uh, the eye biter. And um, the Malawi eye biter, just a, just a spectacular fish. Uh, people seem to have a kind of a love hate relationship with it. I've had people tell me um, that it's hideous. Uh, <laughs> I've had people tell me that they uh, they love the look of it, and so uh, it's a very unique fish uh, with its you know little bump under its its chin, its very thin body which is designed to um, attack from above, uh, you know in 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 nature and sometimes in tanks, uh, if there's a much smaller fish that it can that it can get in its mouth, its its attack is directly from on top of the fish and then comes straight down. Uh, which if, if there's light on top, it, it can be very, very uh, deceptive. And uh, I actually saw him get into a little bit of a battle for, with the Venusas one time for, um, uh, you know, to be the tank boss. And I saw him going into that pattern where the Venusas was attacking straight on and hitting him on the flanks, on the sides. Uh, he was going above the Venusas and then coming down on him. And uh, he did lose the battle, but... Uh, but at any rate, he is. Uh, they can be very aggressive, uh, very uh, you know, very assertive. They try and be the boss if they can. This one was picked up um, from my friend uh, James, James Largo over at the Cichlid Shack, and you can see it's a beautiful F1 specimen. F0 means it's right from the lake. F1 means it's the offspring of. Uh, a couple, uh, you know, a couple that that came from the lake. So it's like the next next generation, if I understand that correctly. If it's different from that, uh, go ahead and correct me. So um, definitely, an eye biter should be in your collection if you have a large, a very large cichlid tank. Uh, the second fish I'm going to uh, uh, suggest uh, for this, uh, you know, for this uh, large tank setup is a Fusco. And uh, Fusco, one of my favorite fish. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you know I love Fuscos. And uh, this one I raised up from just a, you know, just a pup, just a juvie, a little half inch, one inch, uh, no color uh, fish that I picked up. And uh, he's turned into a big beast. Uh, pretty peaceful, all things considered. And um, gets into it sometimes with the eye biter and the trout for the second position, for the second spot in the tank. But overall, uh, tends to kind of keep to his own and stay out of everybody's way. Love the red in the tail and in the um, in the anal fin, the spots in the anal fin, the markings in the tail, the beautiful white stripe on the dorsal. Just a great fish. Really like a Fusco. 
By the way, uh, you'll notice I'm wearing a Super Cichlids, Super Cichlids shirt today, and uh, this is uh, uh, my support for Lisa, Lisa and her family. Uh, they're having some problems with their tanks. They've had some leaks. If you need supplies, any kind of supplies, uh, food, uh, air pumps, uh, really anything, uh, contact Super Cichlids and uh, tell them you want the Ben O discount. Tell them you want the uh, Ben O chart discount. I think it's free shipping up to a certain amount, and then um, which is usually the better discount. And then after that certain amount, you then qualify for um, being able to get both the Ben O and the uh, and the free shipping. So you can save some money there. But uh, definitely uh, check out Super Cichlids. Great group. They also are the sponsors of the banner contest on our uh, face our Facebook page, Ben O apostrophe Cichlid. Uh, the next fish I'm going to suggest for you, uh, if you're stocking a large tank. And by the way, my control panel is down here, which is why you see me looking down from time to time. And uh, I'm using the OBS uh, platform today to be able to um, capture this video, give it the feel of the live stream. And uh, my next suggestion is a sand diver. And a sand diver is uh, just a beautiful fish. I'm, I'm, I, I'm finally growing out, growing out a sand diver. And, um, it, it's uh, they're like no other fish really, you know. Mo most of the fish in the uh, you know out of out of Lake Malawi have certain patterns in them that are pretty predictable. You know the blue face, the body, the the spots on the on the on the anal fin, the stripe on the on the dorsal. You know, but uh, these these uh, you know these trout, or rather these uh, sand divers, they, they they really come in in just all varieties of pattern and color. They get this uh, metallic color on the top of their body, which makes them very, very attractive. They have those beautiful spots along the side. The tails can be pretty spectacular, very large, very fast, very streamlined fish, a lot like a trout. And uh, I have seen and I have owned um, sand divers that have dived under the sand and have actually disappeared in the tank. And all you could see was an eye. And uh, you had to be very careful when you were you know, vacuuming or, you know, if you were going to transfer fish, you had to, you know, don't forget, don't forget your sand diver because he might be, he might be under the sand. I've seen other fish do that too. I've seen lethronops. I've seen lethronops bury themselves as well. Pretty interesting, actually. So sand divers should be in your collection. Like the fish before, he'll get in the uh, nine to 10 inch, maybe larger range. And um, depending on conditions, water conditions, uh, quality of food, care, things of this nature that determine how big your fish get. Um, <clears throat> another fish which you should definitely consider having um, in your collection is the uh, is the uh, the gar. As the gar gets older, his face will start to you know elongate and extend, and uh, just a, a very beautiful, very unusually shaped fish, uh, a little bit like that like that eye biter in that it's it's just an odd just an oddball, a bit of an oddball shape in when, when his face starts to get elongate and get longer and longer. You can see this one here, he's getting, uh, he's starting to get uh, the patterns, the blue in the face, the blue in the body, that beautiful markings in the dorsal and tail, and that, of course, that beautiful stripe on the top of the dorsal fin. Just one of my favorite fish, that's the, uh, <clears throat> the acuticeps, the gar, and this one was picked up also from James Largo over at the Cichlid Shack. A beautiful, beautiful uh, specimen. I also have in this tank behind me, and uh, I have in this tank behind me a trout. And not sure if you can see him, but here's a picture of here's a picture of the trout. And this trout may actually end up being the uh, boss of the tank. He'll get up 12, 13, 14 inches easy, and uh, and he's already uh, perhaps the biggest. Uh, there he is, right there. He is uh, perhaps the longest fish. He's, he's longer than the Venusus. He's not heavier and thicker than the Venusus, but he's certainly longer. And he may eventually become the, the, uh, the tank boss. Uh, he'll get, uh, he'll, he needs a lot of room. You really can't put him in a tank under six feet. <clears throat> certainly you can put him in a small tank to start with and grow him out and then, um, you know, then move him over to a, a, a tank with with at least six feet or more, 
and uh, a lot of turnaround room. Like this tank here, it lacks height, but it has a lot of depth. I think it's 24 inches, two feet from front to back. So the fish have some, some turnaround room. So definitely consider that when picking up a trout. Uh, one of my favorite fish, this one was from um, this trout that I picked up. I mean, there's my uh, living stone eye. This trout that I picked up, it, it was from the wonder of cichlids, Trevor O'Shea, who, uh, who provides very, very high quality fish. And, uh, and of course, you know, I'm going to include in this list one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite fish, which is the Venusus. And uh, in this case, I picked one up from a local fish store. They were like three for ten dollars, and uh, you probably have heard the story. I kept the one that seemed like he was uh, becoming the most spectacular of the three, and I and I sold the other two. And uh, you can just see he's just a beast. Uh, maybe he'll show up behind me here. There he is, and he is uh, without without question. He is the uh, he is the boss of this tank. Uh, nobody messes with him, and uh, <clears throat> and some have tried. <coughs> excuse me, some have tried the uh, the eye biter gave it a shot, and uh, it lasted for about three or four days, and that was over with. So um, those are if you're going to go ahead and stock up a tank, uh, a large tank, definitely consider including those fish. Uh, those fish in your in your picks and here's a pro tip for you uh, study how how fast they grow some of these fish grow very slow like for example a trout grows very slowly a uh, venusus grows very very quickly so you could um, you could you could add in your your slower growing fish let them get established let them get settled in and then down the road add in some of your faster growing fish uh, and uh, they'll catch up very, very quickly. And, um, you know, also perhaps add in the ones that are going to be uh, less, you know, less aggressive. Of course, all the fish in this tank behind me, you could, you could make a case for, for uh, you know, all of them being, being somewhat aggressive. And even this uh, imperial tiger back there has his moments. So, uh, but the, uh, probably the most aggressive is for sure the eye biter. Uh, Venusus just kind of hangs around. Nobody messes with him. So, um, hey, be sure to uh, hit that sub button if you like this channel. If you haven't already, hit the bell so you get notifications. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Just leave you with something short and sweet here on a, on a Saturday morning just to keep that pattern in place of, uh, you know, that you've come to expect from me on Saturdays at 10 a.m. I um, A shout out to all of you who support the live streams. And to those of you who um, have super chatted, that's really appreciated. And of course, to my wonderful admins, uh, GP, Gravinder, uh, Parmar, Denny, Denny Rudell, uh, Kevin Green, and the wonderful uh, Candy. Uh, those are the best, best moderators uh, on YouTube. Uh, join them and me uh, this coming Saturday. Next Saturday, we'll get back onto the regular schedule for cichlids and coffee. Okay, thank you so much. You are appreciated. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.